What's up, y'all? So, I kind of want to capitalize on this energy I got going on right here. Um, I just made a pretty long rant video talking about everything, economics, politics, this and that. Um, I want to explain the concept of egalitarian economics. I just made it. Okay, honestly, it just sounded good. It sounded right. You know, sometimes I, I don't even know what egalitarian meant. I just like it popped in my head, and I was like, "That sounds good." And <laughs> like I already had a concept, like a, a a concept that I was trying to find a name for. And uh, I looked it up. I'm like, "Okay, it kind of means like equal for everybody." Um, what that concept is is basically creating an economic system that is kind of equal for everybody it's not communism it's not socialism it's not just straight capitalism because you know we've seen how you know that can run away and you know create a totally unbalanced situation it's it's a combination of economics and po political policies that create a situation to where every individual can have a decent life you know live with dignity you know, if somebody doesn't have the ability to live, you know, make a living for themselves, you know, okay, we can di direct resource, human resource, capital, whatever, uh, to the to to them to help them live better, you know. Um, and then you know, if people are, it's it's kind of just finding a balance between the extremes of poor and super mega rich, you know, <laughs> like. Maybe having government policies that redistribute wealth a little bit with welfare programs or whatever, you know, public works that benefit people, you know, I don't know, different, what do they call it, uh, graduated tax brackets, maybe, stuff like that. Um, but also, you know, people being aware of what politicians are doing, not letting what I call the, the people's corporation, with, you know, that is the government, uh, get hijacked by criminals or be some runaway thing um so yeah the concept of egalitarian economics is basically creating a decent stable system i know this is like probably a general ideal for people and, and i kind of suggest certain you know specific policies maybe i, I mean i'm not 100 percent sure that all of those are right you know I've, I've done brainstorming i've made videos talking about certain ideas from you know the creation of money to like welfare programs i even suggest stuff like i don't want to go too far some some ideas might seem radical at the moment so i don't want to go too far but uh the concept i mean the the goal with it i would say is to help our species prosper and flourish um to have a functional economic system you know it's like the collective organism of our species you know there's the planet with a natural resource we grew however miraculously from the dirt and you know whatever material is here that really is like the the guts from the you know previous star that it you know was where the sun is now you got all these heavy metals whatever with the chemistry that exists on this planet the planet's a gem of a planet it's the perfect size to have you know a certain amount of gravity towards a water cycle you know water evaporates a certain distance from the sun which is itself a certain size with a certain energy output and we're with a perfect distance from it to receive just the right amount of energy to be the right temperature to have uh, liquid water ice and have have this water cycle or, you know evaporates falls over land and just the whole perfect little planet it's a perfect tilt we got a moon that you know creates tidal effects and stuff it's it's a beautiful gem of a planet and uh and we somehow miraculously grew from it i don't know i don't know how that happened was it aliens i have no idea <laughs> but uh here we are and uh so so we start with that and then there's us and we collectively have created you know we started with tribes and little towns little villages and eventually society now we're at the point where like we have like a global society and uh and it's this like collective organism, you know, there's the planet, 
uh, all the the natural resource and then like ecosystems there's the biosphere in general we're, we're part of that but we have our system specifically for ourselves that we created with uh infrastructure technology this and that especially recently with like you know the post-industrial revolution situation we got going on we got a lot of technology a lot of stuff um so the idea is to create a nice system so that ourselves as part of the planet you know existing in our little niche on the planet in this ecosystem in this biosphere can flourish in a healthy positive happy way um with like dignity for every human you know that's kind of the idea you know because really at the end of the day i'm kind of just i'm personally tired of like you know being just broke you know like just just working you know okay the the real thing that i want to see is everybody have like at least like a basic standard of living like a lot of people talk about like universal basic income that's something that maybe um we can do you know but basically i want to see everybody with a basic decent standard of living you know because we have a technology to do that you know that's what inventors invented stuff for to 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 relieve people of the burden of hard labor you know so that instead of people you know just doing you know hard labor jobs and being occupied just to you know survive instead if they have the basic needs uh you know to survive kind of available we can create a simple situa uh, situation like that it's not hard we have the technology then people will be free to pursue their true calling like their whatever they're inspired to do their true passion whatever and with that i think we will unleash the like creative potential of mankind I, I'm, I'm sure they're like my myself for one i have found myself quite often you know in a situation where i don't have money so i gotta go do some hard labor job go just work you know do do some fine work some way one way or another and uh where really like in my heart and my soul i want to do something else and it's like just it's like the worst feeling to me where you like have a inspiration a passion to do something but it's just not working in your situation like economically you either don't have the resource to to pursue the thing you want uh you got to go make money to get like something or just to keep your you know, keep a roof over your head or something you know it's like if your situation is constantly falling apart you don't have the the resource necessary to kind of pursue what you're trying to do it's like one of the worst feelings just you know having that inspiration that fire inside of you and then just having to go do some like slave labor job and then just feeling that that fire inside of you just like dim you know that inspiration and that's the thing too is like like you have inspiration at certain points like sometimes you just have a a feeling you should do something like kind of like i just felt like turn on this camera and make this video it's like sometimes you just feel it and you just, you just want to do it and but sometimes you know there's a critical situation like your whole freaking livelihood's falling apart you're about to get kicked out of your house because you're not paying rent or whatever it's like when people are constantly stuck in that nine to five rat race whatever they are not free to pursue the things they want if people have that taken care of and then maybe even have enough resource to you know help them facilitate whatever it is they're trying to do like you know the true calling or whatever then uh i just think that's a much better situation that will unleash the the potential of our species <laughs> you know because there's so many people i know that are like like kids are geniuses half the time um, okay i say half the time <laughs> they're usually pretty smart kids are usually pretty smart they're creative they want to do things they, they have their own personal interests and stuff and then they're like trained it's like the creativity and the inspiration all that stuff is like kind of disciplined out of them and then they're taught well here's what you gotta do you gotta go work and do this and it's like you're killing the creative spirit of these kids you know what i mean i want to encourage that i want to help people really flourish and blossom into their truest nature into their full potential into their true colors you know what i mean like i feel like we have that i feel like a lot of us are like seedlings that never get to fully blossom and it's just like it's terrible it's like one of the worst feelings like you don't even get to like truly like live in a robust way and i feel like if we can do that if we could create an economic situation where everybody has the basic necessities of life met and then whatever like little bit of resource they need to pursue their true interest to true calling or whatever 
um, then people can blossom in the ways that they truly feel like in their souls. You know what I mean? Like they have this like gift inside of them, the, the, their, their, the, the true self that they want to express. And, you know, they, they just need a situation where they can bring that to the world, just like a seed has to be planted in good soil to grow and blossom into its true form. It's like we need a situ we need to create an economic situation that is the good soil that people can be born into to where they can grow and blossom into their fullest potential. You know what I mean? Otherwise it's just it's sad. It's like what 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 happens when a seed just falls onto the concrete, poor soil? It's 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 hopeless. And that's that's what I felt like, you know, for a long time. I felt like I was like a freaking sequoia tree. You know, that's just like, you know, stuck in some poor soil, you know, and I'm, I'm not reaching that, you know, full potential. And then sometimes it's like a, I hate to say it, but I think other people maybe sometimes don't have the greatest potential, but they're in good soil and they, and they, they'll flourish more than people who really, at the end of the day, you know, if they're planting the same soil, would be doing gargantuan things, you know, and I'm talking like stuff like game changing, world changing things that could be like geniuses that like invent something. That helps propel mankind forward, like, you know, leaps and bounds, you know what I mean? Like, let's just say there's, like, little genius inventor kids that never get the opportunity. They just get caught up in a rat race, you know, doing some slave labor job, you know, when really they have, like, so much potential pent up inside of them. It's, like, it could be game-changing for our species. You know, that's what I want to see. I want to make sure that we don't miss any of that potential with any people that come about. Whatever genetic, you know, just shuffle of the deck happens you know and whatever people come out with whatever gifts they have you know by whatever chance or destiny there is i want to see what their real potential is i want them to be planted in good soil a good economic situation to have their full potential reach you know what i mean to see what gifts they can they really have inside of them and can deliver to the world it's like it's it's it's, it's the same thing like it's like having a garden and you want every flower to blossom. You don't want to have a garden that's just like, er, you know, crippled and, you know, not reaching its full potential, you know, just like just just half alive, not robust. You know, you want each individual to, to blossom, you want each individual flower to blossom into its full, beautiful, vibrant self, you know, and, and deliver its beauty, its its natural gifts to the world. Um you know, that's been something I've tried, tried to, that's been like a general philosophy for me for a while. I'll tell you where it actually came from. I'm in Texas. I went down t uh, to uh, Austin. I went to the capital of Texas, Austin. There's the Capitol building. This was probably like 2013. I remember it was at, they actually had South by Southwest and that's what I was going to. And I was just happened to be in Austin for a little while. So I went to the Capitol building. I went in there, huge building outside is beautiful at first, you know, from first glance, I go in there and it's just like so immaculately detailed. I'm like, how did they do this? Like, this is so detailed. It must take, like, millions and millions of hours. Like, I'm just like, what? it's freaking crazy. I don't know, millions and millions of hours, but it must have taken a while. You know, let's say it was one person. It would have taken probably millions of hours. But then I realized what it was was a lot of individuals all, you know, with, with, who are each tasked to their own specific part of the building that, you know, do it to the best of their ability. You know, they there's, like, a staircase that had this, like, nice rail that was all super detailed. There were, there were like these pillars that were carved. There was like the tile was nice, everything. I was just like, dude, it's so immaculately detailed. And, uh, and I realized what that was, was each individual doing their job, you know, kind of reaching their full potential with whatever, you know, creative ability they have. And then the co a collective of people all doing their jobs to the best of their ability is what created that big old building and all of its glorious beauty and so i'm thinking okay if we can do that with one building then uh what would happen if everybody reached their full potential in the world just doing whatever job it is to contribute to society you know what i mean like what type of gargantuan beautiful you know civilization can we create you know what i'm saying and that's really where the idea came from me so i thought to myself like okay you know, and, and really, it actually goes deeper than that. I thought to myself, like, what's the best thing that I can do? Like, what is the most positive effect that I can have, you know, as a person, as an individual? And really, that came down to, you know, I could 
be selfish and say, oh, I can like just no. What what I realized I could do is I could help other people reach their potential in the same way that I'm saying, help them blossom, and that would just be like a gargantuan change for the whole world. Um, you know, selfish, maybe egotistical people would probably be a little bit more like, oh, I can do this and do that, and they'd be all you know trying to show off their individual self. But no, we're, we're, you you got to think beyond yourself. You got to think beyond. I mean, I do think about myself because I want to live decently and all that good stuff. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I like to think big. I like to think beyond my generation. I like to think about the future of mankind. It's just, it's just, there's more potential there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think big, whole universe size. I think, you know, billions of years in the future. You know, like what potential mankind has. It's just, it's such a, lar- a wider horizon. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why I think like that. And, uh, and so, yeah, you know, I just, I, I feel like it would be great if we can create a economic situation that is beneficial for all mankind, the good soil, you know, for each new individual, like going forward as a species, you know, like with each new generation, do you want your kids to be born into an oppressive society where they're like, you know, oh, you gotta go to work and, you know, work in the coal mines, like blah, 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 serve these like super mega rich people that, you know, own all the freaking you know industry and everything it's like or do you want a situation that's pretty fair for everybody and your kid can be planted to good soil uh really you know you know have the basic necessities necessities of life met and then blossom you know pursuing their own true personal interest their own calling into whatever beautiful brilliant person they were meant to be it's like i think the latter is much better i'm just saying to me, that seems like a pretty obvious answer, you know. Um, so that's the whole concept. It, the, the whole concept of egalitarian economics is to create that good soil, that good economic situation that is the, the foundation for people to, to blossom into their, their fullest potential, you know. And then if everybody does that, not only is it just one beautiful blossom flower, it's a whole garden of beautiful flowers. It's a whole beautiful civilization, economic system on top of this beautiful planet, this gem of a planet that's just floating out in the middle of the freaking universe. It's like we have the potential to right now help this thing blossom, our whole planet, like our whole ecosystem, ourselves as a species, as part of this planet into a beautiful, beautiful garden of just 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 human just endeavor it's just like i just i feel it like i truly can see it i can feel it like i said i like to think beyond myself i like to think about the i can see it i can see the future of mankind i just see it's just nature it's almost just letting ourselves truly blossom that's why i keep using that term it's like nature i see what it wants to do you know like nature wants like just like trees and flowers and you know it's a whole forest it wants to grow up that's what it does you know it just have to give it the right situation good soil good good sun good water good conditions to to blossom that's what we want to do as well as a species you know what i mean and we're just part of this ecosystem we're part of this planet it's like we are life on earth life on earth wants to flourish and blossom having an oppressive economic system that that really just gets us you know caught up doing stuff we don't want to do it kills us it's like poisonous to us you know what i'm saying we want to create a positive situation good soil good conditions to where we can fully blossom it's not a hard concept it's like very straightforward it's not unreasonable you know what i mean it's like sure we 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 have to do we have to do to survive you know previous generations had to kind of work pretty hard you know, to, to, to do things. But then geniuses, thankfully, that had a decent enough situation, you know, created by the people around them where they could pursue their true potential, you know what I mean? Invented stuff, technology and stuff that made it easier for everybody else. So so that little investment of the people around them that created a nice situation to where those people could, you know, reach their potential and, and you know, follow their true calling, you know, to be inventors or whatever, uh, invented stuff that made life better for everybody so it was a major payoff for that small investment of the people around them to to help create a nice condition nice situation for those brilliant inventors to to produce something that benefited everybody if we do that for the whole world for every single person that comes into existence from here on out 
the amount of potential that will be unleashed, the amount of stuff to probably produce, it'll probably just be this runaway exponential compound freaking development. Like that's how we can reach the freaking like imaginings of our like sci-fi dreams. You know what I mean? Like let's go freaking fly through space. Who knows? I'll create some warp drive, time travel, warp through the galaxy, the universe, you know, like we'll go appear on some other planet, some like crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what people will invent? And that's what I'm saying. We have to give ourselves a chance as a species, dude. Like, we have to. We have to create a proper economic system, the good soil, the good conditions, to where that true human potential can be realized. If we don't, we're killing the seedling in its infancy. We're not giving it a chance to blossom into its full potential. And that's what we're doing to our whole species. We're choking our whole species if we don't do that. We have to allow ourselves to freaking blossom as a species if we want to move forward as, as a freaking species. We have to. Okay? That's what egalitarian economics is all about. I don't know where that term came from. I, pro I promise you. Like, I kind of had this whole concept, you know, like I said, from the, the Texas State Capitol building and, uh, you know, everybody realizing their full potential and working together. And it's just like a, a mosaic of sorts, you know, a garden of, of each individual blossom f person creating a whole beautiful civilization. But anyway had that whole concept but then egalitarian economics just kind of like sounded good in my brain i don't even know where it came from but it sounded good so i'm like all right we're gonna ride with that i think this honestly i think i'm not saying anything that's like crazy really all i'm saying is allow ourselves to grow um allow ourselves to really blossom create better conditions that's the whole point of like intelligence is to create better conditions for ourselves and I'm smart enough to know that it's not only about you, it's about everybody. If we do this for our species, people produce things that help everybody. One inventor invents something that's like game changer for everybody. You know what I mean? If we create a, a situation where everybody's potential can be reached, you know what I mean? A healthy, happy situation where the dignity of everybody is respected and people can pursue their true calling, who knows what people will come up with? I think it will really be like a runaway effect. Like, it'll be it's like uh i don't even know how to describe it it's like it's i don't think just just like the investment it, like we already invest in like education for like most young kids right we understand education is important but if we create an e not just an education but an economic system make sure that everybody has the basic needs met to where they can pursue their true calling it's like that is how you unleash the potential of our entire species move man it, i'm telling you that is how we we make it dude like like you don't choke the development of of our species by choking the individuals you create a healthy soil healthy you create healthy conditions to allow each individual to blossom into a full self tool so we have a garden a beautiful garden of a civilization that is blossoming generation after generation with exponential growth of you know, creative freaking invention and whatever, just new knowledge, scientific knowledge where we can figure out how to do this and that. And like, that's how we unleash our potential. We do not choke our potential by having an oppressive economic system. We create a, a, an encouraging economic system where the basic needs are met, you know, not just an education system where people learn, but an economic system where basic needs are met and uh and, and resources available to help people pursue their true callings the the things that they really want to do that they feel you know welling up from inside of them and trying to get out so they can deliver their true gifts to the world you know what i mean that is how we do it bro that's the that's the that's the way you know what i mean and uh so this is a concept i've been kind of holding on to for a while it's kind of like i've been you know explaining it here and there i got a whole bunch of other videos i made and stuff but i don't know i just feeling i feel I, like i said i just made a video with a big old rant and i kind of got to this point so i was just like you know what let me just like clarify this a little bit so that's the whole concept of egalitarian economics um creating positive conditions like 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 a, like a flower bed basically we have to have, create a good flower bed for the flowers to grow for the whole garden of of all its with all this diversity, all the difference, just just gifts and whatnot, for all of that to, to really grow, blossom, 
and, and all the beautiful colors of our species to be you know just just fully realized for for our species to grow into a beautiful fully developed awesome civilization that is what we got to do man create the the healthy conditions the flower bed good soil so that every little seedling can really grow and then who knows what they'll come up with they i'm telling you i think it'll be a runaway like exponential type thing like one person will invent this new thing other people learn about it and then they freaking double down on that i'm telling you bro that's how we get to our like as a species how we realize our full potential is by helping each individual like creating a situation where each individual can really pursue to where they can really blossom and then the whole thing becomes a beautiful garden of awesomeness you know what i'm saying um i hope you can see that i hope i'm describing as well enough hope you see like the visual of like our whole species you know becoming a fully just blossom civilization that's just awesome and growing in it like just indefinitely into the future i could just see it like i'm seeing it like right now like my mind's eye i'm just like future like <laughs> fully blossom civilization like let us get there please like i'm seeing it for real i'm seeing like like kind of blue skies like like kind of just just plant i'm seeing like buildings i'm seeing like you know like i'm seeing it i'm seeing it right now i'm telling you i'm like peering into the future right now i'm like going through a freaking i don't know some wormhole in space time continue i don't know but uh for real, i'm seeing it. i can feel it bro i feel it and i feel like that's truly the way we have to i feel like that might have been my calling bro my destiny or something just like i don't know it really started logically i was like well what's the best thing i can do like to help mankind you know and then i was like yeah we can like you know help everybody blossom and you know and it, it just it turned it's it is what it is man uh i don't know i kind of i see it and i'm like all right well it seems like a good idea to me so <laughs> now i'm trying to explain it and uh hopefully get people on the same uh you know in agreement with that um i don't know man I try to do what I do. I still feel like I'm, I've am i had a lot of potential to do a lot of other things. Like, But I've been kind of stuck in a rat race, and it's kind of frustrating. It's been frustrating. It's been it's one of the worst feelings to have, like, what you like you're, you're inspired to do something, and then you're just like, you, you either don't have the resource to do it, or you're just like, you got to do something else, like, just to make, make sure your whole situation don't fall apart. It's just like, oh, like, your inspiration, the fire inside, just like, it's so bad if that happens it's like it's one of the worst feelings it's like your spirit dying or something it's like I can't, it's so bad i felt it like before plenty of times and uh i don't like it i don't like it at all um and i don't think anybody else likes it so i'm like let's try to get rid of that as much as possible and so that means let's help everybody really do what they feel inside they were born to do um you know follow their calling and flourish into their fully you know awesome beautiful selves functional selves so i really i, I truly think you know I, I don't know what way that'll come about i don't know every specific detail like how to manage it necessarily i, I throw out suggestions like i said i got other videos where i talk about economics government type stuff maybe um but i think that's the goal generally speaking create a good situation the good conditions good flower bed whatever you want to call it to uh help each individual flourish grow like really like no child left behind type stuff like but but not i'm not even saying just like like just make sure they're alive no i'm saying really create good conditions to where they can reach their full potential i'm not saying just make sure they're alive that's not enough make sure people make sure we have to create the conditions where each individual can in each individual can reach their full potential to unleash their true just just beauty their full put their full selves they you know deliver their gifts to the world you know what i mean and i'm telling you people will come up with stuff i'm telling you they will probably have like all types of new inventions just just so much creative just like 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 imagining just being projected into the world dude Is that that's it's like an evolutionary step this is like part of what i call like behavioral evolution kind of like where where knowledge is shared like but the creative geniuses have to to 
come up with that stuff. They have to develop in a certain way and be able to, you know, deliver their gifts to the world. And then when they do, then it's like other people get it. They're like, oh, this is awesome. And then they double down or whatever. They improve it in some way. And we share knowledge. We share ideas. We continue to progress uh, intellectually, but not just intellectually, but like in what we do, the technology that we have, like the systems that we create, um, what we're capable of. I'm telling you, that's how we get to the like the future that I'm talking about. Like, like that's how we get to our like sci-fi imaginings. Um, that's how we, as a species, reach our full potential, dude. I'm telling you. I can see it, dude. I can, like, feel it. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm going through, like, a time wormhole into the future. I'm like, all right, that's the future. We got to get there. Like, here's the basic general concept to, to create a good situation to where we can get there. There's going to be nuance on the, on the way, but generally I can, like, feel it. I'm, like, grabbing through time to, to, to a future that I'm like, this is what we need to get to. We have to reach our fully developed fully blossomed uh self you know as a species and that's what we gotta do and we gotta like maintain we gotta be like i mean it comes down to like even like emotional stability and everything it's like it's like a biological thing it's like you know when we have emotional stability our whole situation functions functions better if we can create good conditions for everybody to where it's not stressed this and that it's all just nice and kind of stable and we can even if we create technology like stave off freaking comets that are trying to come through or whatever like we can create a nice stable situation then we can just like flourish dude i'm telling you it's like it even it's like that's the way dude that really is the way and i think this is just like a natural development of intelligence intelligence generally seems to condition environment to become better for its own uh flourishing basically and this is just in uh, it seems like it's just seems like it's almost just like a universal universal uh i don't know seems like it was destined to happen i don't know and i'm like i'll be i'm humble enough to say that maybe i'm just like a step along the way you know um you know maybe this was destined from the beginning you know whatever creator divine source there was you know maybe set this in motion and it was just bound to happen it's just you know the seeds were planted um, and this is just, you know, maybe this is just a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, uh, growing pain. You know, we've been going through some stuff as a species. There's been a lot of you know, drama, this and that. Now we're kind of maturing and we can talk about concepts like this. Let's create a nice, healthy economic situation. We're maturing as a species. We're not even like as chaotic or egotistical as, you know, previous generations. Maybe we're as a, as a species intellectually, you know, with emotional stability, we're we're balancing with each other. We are uh, we're coming to a nice like the homeostasis. You know what I'm saying? And that just might be part of like universal development. You know, part of evolution. I'm telling you, part like what I call like behavioral evolution. You know, um, so maybe those ple seeds were planted a long time ago, and now it's just you know coming to a certain mature level. And everything I'm talking about with whatever egalitarian economics or whatever is just. You know, is us reaching our mature state, you know, to where we can create a nice, stable situation to where, you know, we can all flourish happily with dignity, live well. You know, maybe it's just a, we're reaching our more ripened, mature stage as a species, as a civilization. That's cool. All right. So, in that case, you know, everything I'm saying is just really that's what I feel. Like. I feel like I'm just watching progression on a longer time frame and I'm just like, talking about it <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't even feel like it's like some novel concept really i mean maybe like i kind of thought about it a little bit but i really do i just feel like okay it seems kind of obvious when you talk about it you're kind of just like okay yeah we should do that yeah we should <laughs> like yeah it's pretty simple straightforward i don't know i mean that's, that's what a lot of stuff is i feel like you know we might kind of think sometimes that we're individuals and this and that but like really we this it's an amalgam of individual behavior that leads to this just just i don't know i question it sometimes you know maybe there's a creator of some sort some divine source that set it all in motion it's just maybe the, you know that creator planted the seeds and now we're just growing and now we're just we're just growing along you know what i'm saying and what i'm seeing in the future is maybe just like i could just sense that potential and uh it's just bound to happen anyway i might just be talking about what's 
was already set in motion and destined to happen from the get-go. So, I don't know. Yeah, I might be talking for no reason. I'm, I'm maybe I'm just observing and appreciating this this universal, long-term universal process that I see, you know, happening. That's cool. I can appreciate God's work. You know, <laughs> whatever. I'm cool with that. So, either way, that's the concept. Egalitarian economics. Maybe I'm just outlining uh, an already existing process and just just kind of taking note of where we are in the process and seeing where we're going and all that good stuff so either way that's my concept of egalitarian economics hope you like it that's all i gotta say for now let's keep moving forward as a species let's mature let's be awesome and let's grow into our awesome fully blossomed state god bless you peace out